Give us like a really I easy one. I'm, I'm on fire no, with my click no, This is me, right here, at the single most clutch moment of the quiz live. The final moment, in fact, of the game show. It was all down to myself and beef. One last question, one last answer. Whoever got this right took home everything. And there I stood, buzzer in hand, my turn to answer the question. And today, I have a brilliant story for you. It's a story of how I defied all odds to even get to where I was in that final moment and then how I threw it all away. It all started last Saturday when myself and two other contestants showed up to play in the season three opener of the quiz line. Brand new set, brand new visuals, brand new hype. For those who've never heard of The Quiz Live, it is a trivia quiz show run by The Happy Wheels One. But what you'll soon find out is it's not exactly your ordinary uh, quiz trivia show. Sure, the first phase starts out normal with the kind of generic trivia quiz questions you'd expect, but as you'll soon see in phase two, and especially in three, well, that's where things get complicated. So contestants, are you ready to play the 20 question trivia round, the very first one of season three? Phase one was just like your average trivia quiz show. Three podiums, three players, you buzz in, you answer the question. Get it right, you get a point. Get it wrong, no point. Which update added camels to the game? 1.20. While everyone was nervous at the start, I was able to jump in and nab the first point. But quickly after, we started to realize that Beef was going to be a heavy hitter here. He was so fast on the buzzer, we could barely keep up with him. But thankfully, his Minecraft knowledge was somewhat limited. What color are the particles that are emitted from the Eye of Ender? Green. Is wrong. What? But he was fast enough that anytime he did know an answer, well, it was pretty much his. Cobble deep slate. You know what they call me, Schmidt? They call me Major Skills. The rest of the round continued with Beef climbing higher and higher than the rest of us. That wasn't until one specific change. I realized I didn't have to be faster than Beef to hit the button. All I had to do was position myself where the button would be and hold right click. And after that, everything started to fall into place. Question after question became mine, and by the end of the first phase, I had caught right back up to Beef. And ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the round, Spen is on five, Beef is on six, and Finn is on two. And I'd have felt bad for Finn, if not for the cheating scandal that happened a little earlier on in the episode. 2016. Wait, that would have been correct. That was the <laughs> kind of confidence of someone in your chat telling you the answer. I just want to say that. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Hey, Happy, I want you to know that Finn on the caption of their stream said join so you can give me the answers to the quiz. <laughs> it's, 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 there's a stream delay. It's not cheating. There's not there's even enough time. Delay. Phase two is where things started to change up. And instead of answering trivia questions, we were now being tested on our ability to recognize the different textures of blocks within the game. We would each have our own blank frame at the base of the room. And on the wall in the back, we were presented with four different patterns. Only one of those patterns was the correct pattern, and to figure it out, we had to create the individual patterns in our frames. The first person to complete the pattern would receive the most points, and then the second person, and then the third person. I had done my fair bit of research on how the game show worked. So coming into this, I had a solid strategy. The most successful people in this in previous game shows, they collected every resource they needed to begin with, and then just built all the patterns at once. So my plan was to use my inventory as the canvas, build three of the four patterns in there. If I build three of the patterns, the likelihood of me getting it was pretty good. The most important reason for doing it this way is let's say I completed the second pattern and it ended up being the wrong one. One of the other two could have noticed that and then they would know not to do that pattern and try one of the others. So by doing this, I'd be able to see which patterns they got wrong, skip those and then do the others. And it seemed like a perfect strategy going in, but it ended up being a lot harder than I thought to find the items within all of the chests. I ended up spending most of my time out in the chests and I didn't get to see what it was that they were doing. I ended up building the first three patterns in my inventory because you know, what are the chances of being the fourth one? And well, it it ended up being the fourth one. Once I realized it was the fourth pattern, I heard something from the other contestants that I interpreted wrong. Orientation oh. doesn't matter, right? You said orientation doesn't matter, so if it's orientation like doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listening back to this, I don't know how I interpreted this wrong, but in the moment, I thought this meant that as long as I had the right blocks and I just put them in there somewhere, it was all good. And so I did this with the, with the winning pattern. I I had the right pattern, but I just. <sighs> I put it in wrong. Oh, hang on. A... I can't watch. This is professional. Spen's going for it. 
Sven got it wrong. No, I had it wrong? If I hadn't done that, I could have gotten it. I had all the right blocks, but unfortunately, before I was able to collect everything again, Beef had everything he needed. Now, while I'd researched how the three different sections of the game work, I'll be honest and say I didn't look into how things worked, like from one part into the next. So I missed a very important part of how the whole game show works. And it's that it doesn't matter how many points you have. You just have to not be in last place after the second part. Because for the final part, it's whoever has the two highest scores that move into it. I had five points coming into this. Finn had two, Beef had six. If Finn got in first place, that's three points to bring up to five. Even if I got in last place, that's one point that brings me to six. And so then Finn was still in last place. I could have done absolutely nothing and I still could have made it into the final part of the show. I don't know why I was sweating the whole time during that last bit, especially because moving into the final part of the episode, none of your points matter before, right? They're, they're pointless. They're gone. The board is wiped clean and then you go through a whole nother section of trivia. Although this trivia is a little bit more complicated because it's not the typical kind of trivia you would expect. Coming into the final round was going to be a bit more challenging than the first because in the moment of me having the comeback in the first episode, I couldn't help myself and I bragged to the others. I and found out for the last wait, two wait, questions, you can just hold right click. What? And so now Beef knew about that. And so the advantage that I thought I had was gone. How this final part worked is after some parkour up to the top, we would be asked a question. First person to get the buzzer got to answer it. If you got the question right, you removed a block from underneath you until you got all the way down to the bottom. And as you can see here from the start, things were not going in my favor. Quite quickly on, Beef had a huge advantage. And it kept going like that all the way until the end. I I couldn't I couldn't figure out how Beef was doing it. Green. Correct. I knew it. And then the moment I'd been dreading arrived. Next question comes in from our favorite Mr. Pickle. And Mr. Pickle says, During Christmas, what do chests look like? Presents. He's correct. <sighs> I'm, how are you Which getting means? that so fast? Because I'm holding right mouse button. Oh, that's wow. What, that's, that's he's what's cheating, huh? He's that's what's cheating. Doing what he's been. Beef was now on his final block. All he needed was one more question to get correct, and then he would take home the victory. And he'd been beating me to the punch every time. Most of the questions that I'd been getting lately were ones that he'd gotten wrong so that I had the opportunity to answer it and hopefully get it right. There was no way I could leave four questions up to chance. Like these were all questions coming in from the audience. Some of them were insanely difficult and challenging. In 1.19's snapshot 22w11a, Moyang removed which command relating to a new mob. Others were extremely easy and there's no way Beef wouldn't be able to get them. Which block can you use to make smoke from a campfire go higher? I couldn't take that risk, so I had to come up with a different strategy. That's when I decided to try this. In the new Minecraft 1.20 release, okay, what was the new tree type that was added? Oh, thank God. Uh, cherry oh, trees. Yes, it was the cherry trees. Yes. Oh. yes. <laughs> By holding the mouse in one hand and furiously right clicking in with the other, every question, I was the one buzzing in. Beef couldn't stop me. It is an iron nugget, and then below that is an iron bar, and below that is an iron nugget. You joking. How is he getting it so fast? What happened? What happened? You did. You install some clients. Beef couldn't stop me. It was an incredible feeling. There were also a lot of questions that were asked that we just didn't know the answers to. When were Iron Nuggets introduced? Is it 1.3? No. 1.9? No. What was Minecraft's original name? Block game. Wrong answer. What? Minecraft. Incorrect. So that also added some stress to the whole thing. And I, I, I finally did it. I, I got it down to the final question. We each had one block left underneath us. So this could be the final question. Give us like a really I, easy one. I'm, I'm on no, fire with no, my click. No, no, no. <laughs> this one comes in from It's Your Boy Kenny Free. Come on, Kenny, be my boy. Kenny, don't be his boy. Be my boy. And the question is. And that's when the question came, the final question of the game. 
how many never write ingots do you need? Or in Sven's case, how many never write bars do you need to make a full armor set? And I buzzed in first. <gasps> Five. <gasps> oh, sh if you want to check out the whole video, you can head over to Happy's YouTube channel. I got a link for it down in the description below. But other than that, peace out. I'm out of here.